the spoil surprise. Let's just say it celebrates my curves. Look at me, I'm in jeans, if you like. What, nice and cheap, you mean? My dresses cost next to nothing. Only because we kept it in-house. Which means we can splurge on the honeymoon. <laughs> we looked at those brochures yet? Yeah, I had to flick through. I don't know if I fancy sailing in the Med or trekking into the mountains. Huh. I was thinking more lazing by the pool. We are not spending our entire honeymoon uh, vegging out on sun lounges. Yeah. <clears throat> I meant to say, uh, Eva texted when you're in the shower. I'll give him the day off. Why? Because she's going to propose to his nibs tonight. She... Well, she don't hang about, does she? Why does she need a day off? How long does it take to pop the question? You are too soft for your own good. <laughs> Morning. Hey, come here. It's too early for you, missy. Oh, I don't mind. Yeah, well, I do. So will your mother. She'll have me off for child labour. Can I make you a break? No, thank you. And that's no to a lift and all. It's the last time I gave you a lift, it triggered World War Three. But Mum's not going to find out in a gazillion years. I'm staying at Gary's. N-O spells dream on fate. It also spells go to school. But I need to see Seven. You're the only one who gets it. No can do, Faye. So do us both a favour, please. Just go to school. Uh, you haven't got this from me, but uh, I have heard that... Uh... They go faster if you sit on them and headlock. <laughs> These cobbles play havoc with me coccyx. Uh, we should make a great word for Scrabble, except you need three C's. Life can be so cruel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have any plans for this evening? Why are you, you asking me out? Yes. But on a date date. On a date date. Ah, uh, who is the most beautiful girl in the whole wide world? Ah, uh, Missy Bo? Yes, you are. I worry about you. Oh, hello, Daddy. Mm. <laughs> Oh, thank you. You're a legend. Oh, babe, there's an energy drink on there for you. A bit of va va -voom in a glass. Cheers. Do you not want you falling asleep at the table tonight? We're going out. Come on, Lee. Yes, we're going out. Went for dinner at the bistro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did tell you this last night, but you were spark out. Sorry. Big workaholic, you. I want your fun head on tonight. I do solemnly swear, tonight, fun head all the way. Hey, I'll meet you there. Why? It's just a bit more romantic, isn't it, than setting off together. Just makes it a bit more special. OK. I'll text you. Oh, um, babe, obviously it's up to you, but um, you do look really fit in that blue shirt. <clears throat> obviously, though, it's up to you. Obviously. <laughs> See ya. See ya. Right, come on, spill. What do you want? OK. So, in reverse order, I need a little favourette. Yeah, if I can. And? And? <laughs> I'm going to propose to Aidan. <gasps> wow. Hey, come here. <laughs> I think Bethany would have preferred a lion, to be honest, but Sarah was determined they were going to have a girly day in Chester. Right. I'm going to have to watch Bethany like a hawk from now on. Yep. I think Sarah's frustrated that Shona's done a bunk. She seems to think Shona's a guru, where Bethany's concerned. Is Shona still coming for tea? No. Why not? Because I've sacked it off. Why? Look, we're not going to be seeing any more of Shona, all right? You're kidding. Is this because you made her cry at Mum's grave? No, she was crying at your Mum's grave because her dying was... is the worst thing ever. I mean, it was, it was pointless. David. Go get your PE stuff, love. I don't get why we can't see Shona anymore. I'll miss her. Well, you'll get over it, won't you? And Shona will miss you too, sweetheart. She must have had a very good reason for going away. Still voicemail. Room's empty. Not that she had much stuff anyway. Just read the text again. Thanks for everything. Need a fresh start. I thought this was going to be her fresh start here with us. Yeah, so did I. I know she was worried about kissing David Platt, but she seemed happier. Yeah, she did. Now she's out there, back to square one. Or worse, with Nathan on the run. 
You wouldn't risk it. Couldn't be that stupid. Well, it'd take us one click of his fingers. Maybe David knows something. <laughs> Still feels a bit weird, you know, without me tag. Oh, I'll bet. Mm. Oh, that is so pretty. No, oh, thanks. Yeah, my mate got it for me. It's probably what's left over from a Christmas cracker. <laughs> Some cracker, darling. Hallmarks don't lie. And look at all these pretty little diamonds. Ooh. You know what they say about diamonds, don't you? My girl's best friend. Mm. Diamonds are forever. <laughs> oh. Actually, my Alfie used to love my ankles. And my clavicle. <laughs> Did you ever row you and Alfie? Oh, we bickered. But not really any humdingers, you know. So you were happy then? Contented. Do you know, if we went to a formal do, I would look across the room and think, there's my Alfie. We arrive together and we'll leave together. Hmm. Sounds lovely, that. Do you know, lady, you should put your dancing shoes on tonight. You should go out and celebrate your freedom and show off your ankle boing. No, I don't know. Oh, yes, come on, I'll look after Liam. No, I'm a mate to in couples. For goodness sake, girl, you'll never meet anybody new with that attitude. Well, maybe Maria's not after meeting anybody new. Oh, thank you. Hello, he speaks. You're in a right mood today, you. Well, me are. Oh, well, I don't doubt that. <laughs> now, listen, I am going to babysit Liam. You are going to go out and paint the town red, and no argument, please. All right, thanks, Audrey. And stay at home, save the cab fare. Our relationships end in disaster anyway. Sloping up without me, are you? I don't think so. We've had this conversation. We're doing this my way. No fuss. It'd be easier with the two of us. I can help write down what the neurologist says. I can hold a pen, Kate. I'm sorry, love. I know you mean well. If you really want to help me... Anything. Give Eva a hand. Eh? She's going to propose to our aid tonight. <laughs> She's taking a corner of the bistro for an engagement party. Do I have to? No, but you'll make your old dad very happy. All right, then. That's my girl. <laughs> and cover for me if Jenny asks where I am. You know I will. And stop worrying. I've told Nora Power we can squeeze her in at 3.30, right? Oh, OK, Gran. Thank you so much for keeping me in the loop. Nora Power, 15.30 hours, intel received and understood. Well, there's no need to be facetious now. Oh. How is he? I could knock his block off. Great. David? Hi. Hi, Tim. Let's have a word with David. Oh, uh, no chance that you combine the word with the cut and blow dry? <sighs> no, I thought that. Oh. David! Could you come over to the dryer, darling? You all right? Not really. We wondered if you knew where Shona had gone. No idea. But she didn't even say goodbye. Well, that's just the way the mop flops. Hang on, we're, we're really worried about her, especially with Nathan on the loose. I'm sure she'll be all right. She's a tough old bird. But could, could you just try a mobile, please? No chance. If, if, if you call, she might answer. Well, I can't help you. And if I said I was sorry, I'd be lying. So. It's one lousy phone call. I mean, it's not much to ask. Yeah, but if he doesn't want to, then he shouldn't it's have just to. ridiculous. Jonah is out there alone and vulnerable, thinking we don't care. I don't care. I couldn't give a flying one, Vicar. Oh, what a charmer. Yeah, congratulations, Gail. Look, we're not asking you to kiss and make up. We just... We just give me my phone back. I just want to know that she's safe. Give me my phone back. Oh, for goodness sake, give him his phone. David, please, do the right thing. Ring Shona. Do the right thing. She's a waste of organs. There you are. You can call off the men in white coats. I was thinking no such thing. You're a terrible liar. My mum's asked Pat Phelan to find a new mirror. Seven years, bad luck. Doubt I'll even notice. You're a good dad, David. Do you reckon? Yeah, I'm on heart. Yeah, well, I keep making mistakes, don't I? Big ones. Yeah, well, 
Welcome to parenthood. I'm not talking about a smashed mirror, Mum. No. I'm sorry about Shana. She's not my pal in life. I can't even believe I got my hopes up. I mean, for the first time since Kylie died, I was murdered. I've actually forgotten what it was like to fancy someone. Oh, love. And I kissed her. You know that. Just for a minute, it felt normal. You know, I didn't feel like Widow David or single parent David. I just felt like a normal bloke who maybe could be happy again. Or not feel as terrible. I'm so sorry, love. Anyway, you said she was no good. She's gone. She's history. I've betrayed Kyla. Oh. You honour Kylie every day. With every school shirt you iron and every grey's knee you kiss better. You're a lovely dad, David. I'm so proud of you. And so is Kylie. This looks amazing. Yeah, you don't look so bad yourself. What do you call that? That look. Sexy Maxi, babes. Yeah, the whole enchilada. What is it with the Mexican vibe? Well, I first realised that I loved Adrian when we were in Epizote. He'd spilt refried beans down his jumper, was completely mortified. I thought it was hysterical. Laughed so hard, couldn't stop snorting. <laughs> nice. Yeah, she does do that. So now, every time we walk past a Mexican, we just can't stop laughing. Yeah, it's great when you can make each other laugh. Better than making each other cry. Uh, Robert, have you spoken to Nick today? Uh, no. What, you spoke to Nick? Uh, yeah, well, well, not really. I mean, just a few brief conversations. Or something. Well, it's more than I've had. Uh, this place is looking great, isn't it? Especially as we're a man down. Daniel phoned in sick. Oh, uh, yeah. Is uh, Nick still planning on selling up? Oh, don't tell me you didn't know what I like. Hello there. Careful. Yeah. Been with you in a minute. Are you playing? Oh, should I stick a paper bag over him yet? I'm just saying. Oh, I didn't know I had to ignore you in public, man. What? What? So it's a toss up between completely ignoring me or pinching my bum. Mm. <laughs> Do you fancy going for a drink? What? Yeah. Could go to the Rovers if you want. The Rovers. Oh, whatever. You know what? If you're not going to buy me a drink, I'm going to go and find someone who will. Patrick Phelan? Yes. Who's asking? Nicola. I'm Sebastian Franklin's case manager. <laughs> uh, you got the short straw, huh? <laughs> Well, he speaks very highly of you. He does, actually. How's he doing? Yeah. Looking forward to getting out. He's at that critical stage. Reoffending rates being so high. Oh, big bad world. I don't need to tell you that. Seb will be having maths and English tuition when he's released. But he's hoping, I should say, we're hoping, that you might consider giving him some kind of apprenticeship. I'll tell you who's a lazy beggar. No, no. Oh, what a lazy so-and-so. <laughs> He's a lazy beggar. <sighs> Seb feels that you tried to help him and he let you down. Well, I did what I could. It wasn't much. Well, I don't agree. The fact that you backed him meant a lot to Seb. It still does. Nicola, it's Nicola. With the greatest respect, I don't want to be Seb's dad. Right? I mean, I wish him the best of luck, but he's trouble. I'd put a D on the end of that word. Look, his home life is chaotic, for want of a better word. He needs people in his corner. Good male role models. He needs you, Patrick. Oh. I don't know about that. You look like a man who believes in redemption. We're all screwed otherwise, aren't we? <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Well, this is me. Look, if you were to put the kettle on, I could tell you a little bit more about the scheme. 
No obligation. Okay. Please. That confident, eh? I like it. Well, you know, you put a diamond around a girl's ankle. That's what you off to tonight. Don't know yet. I'm not decided. I'm just trying to live in the moment, you know. Me too. You look so hot. Why don't you go and splash your face with some cold water? You are through to Aiden Connor. Please leave me a message. Can you believe this? He'll be here. Hi. Um, I am Mucho Sorry Nachos Diaz. No problem, darling. Dr. Ephraim wants to get a wiggle on. <laughs> Do you want a tequila? Any pale ale? Yeah, I'll, I'll sort that. This champagne's going warm. Some more ice in the bucket, then. Well, I'm on my tennis leave, so I'm not sure to go behind the bar. Uh, any chance you two can stop sniping? Like a pair of kids. Champagne, tequila, live music. <laughs> Good old Banker Johnny, eh? Must have given the money to you, right, old shake? <laughs> Where is he? Anyway, your dad. He's in a meeting. Ah, oh, right, yeah. The set of golf clubs and a mate and a dodgy jumper. <laughs> Throws money at everything. Do you know? Oh, I am. I've got bigger stuff to worry about, like a missing fiance. Oh, come on, Ed, you're ruining it. Good work, love. Yeah, another fresh goes trolley in the canal. You teasing the oven? No, you're all right. Leave it, I'll see to it. Why did you say that none of this was my fault? Well, you didn't ask to have your life turned upside down, did you? Well, who says Shona's turned my life upside down? The state you're in, isn't it obvious? Why have you not even asked me what she's done? When your adult son is obviously so upset, I assume she's hurt you very badly. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go for a bath. You two were close, weren't you? Well, I don't know about close. I, I liked her well enough, but there was always something. Well, she said Bethany. True. She ended up in hospital because of it. She could have died. The very fact she was in a relationship with the likes of Nathan doesn't say much for a character, does it? Why have you not even asked me what she was doing at Kylie's grave? Because I could tell from the way you were with Max that you didn't want to talk about it. Well, that's never stopped you before. I feel like I'm being interrogated here. Well, it's usually your department, isn't it? I mean, why are you not mithering me for every last detail? I mean, I know why I hate Shona, but you. It's like you said this morning. Good riddance to her. Heat it up for 15 minutes. Leave the foil on. You know. You know. Mm. All hail the sticky toffee pudding. Any chance of a sticky toffee kiss? Mm. Can I get you any coffees? <coughs> uh, just the bill, please, if you would. Yeah, we're uh, we're going to have coffee back at my place. Oh, you two are good together. Um, do you mind not telling Roy that we're here? No, not a problem. We don't want to rub his nose in it. Yeah, he, pr he probably wouldn't mind anyway, but it's it's just a bit icky. I'm a vault. FYI, that's Roman's corner over there. Mm. What's the occasion? He was going to propose to my brother. Well, somebody better drag him out the Rovers then. But he's in the Rovers? Yeah, I saw him going in before. Another clown. <coughs> I'll tell you who's a lazy so and so. Who? Dr. Doolittle. <laughs> Seriously? Lost 
a cane. Oh, we only just realised that. <laughs> Watch yourself. Am I hallucinating? What? I thought she was going to propose at the bistro. Change of plan. <laughs> Why Mexican? Never mind that. What did Naroj say? Uh, not now, love. We're missing all the fun. Tell me now. Aiden's never going to live this down. Dad, the neurologist. I'll tell you later. <laughs> Cheers, love. Oh, I am loving the outfit. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Fabulosity square. Uh, muchas gracias. <laughs> Where's my beloved? Oh, oh uh, must be in gents. Oh, seriously? You kidding? <sighs> Talk about killing the moment. Listen, don't look now, but there's three blokes behind you in frillition. <laughs> <laughs> That would be my mariachi band. I'd never leave home without them. Has <laughs> <laughs> he fallen asleep on the bog? Mm. We've all been there. Eva, good luck. I've got this. <sighs> I've got this. Babe, what are you... What's, uh... Aidan <sighs> Connor. Will you marry me? <laughs> We're back in Coronation Street in half an hour. Come on, babe. <laughs> put a girl out of her misery. Now, what folks say when they put a dog down? <laughs> of course, it's here. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry I never made it to the beach, girl. Just popped today for a quick one and I never knew you had all this oh, planned. Oh, you should do the matter. <laughs> <laughs> the man from Dell Underworld said, <laughs> Right, come on, who's signed the bubbly? Oh, I don't know what we're doing here. There's free drinks at the beach, girl. Come on, then. What will you have? <laughs> Party would like to put ice the bistro. Yay! Ladies and gentlemen, please. <laughs> On your way, thank you. Typical. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. Who? My pub. Go on, Sean, you might as well join him in the bistro. I was worried what you might do if you found out who Shona really was. I mean, I tried to get rid of her, I tried to pay her off to leave you alone. And then when Shona found out about your plan to kill Clayton, well, we had a mother's pack to keep each other's secrets. You know, if you had a brain cell, it would be lonely. David. Don't you see, Mum, that all this is your fault? I mean, if you'd have just told me in the beginning that the woman I'd fallen for was the mother of Kylie's murder, and none of this would have happened, would it? I'm going for a walk till you calm down. Oh, where are you walking to? New Zealand. Do you know what? You can take all this lot with you. What are you doing? Chucking you out. What's it look like I'm doing? Yeah, well, we both need time out. Yeah, well, you can take some time out of the house. Permanently. Move. Well, this... I know, it is interesting. It's really interesting. Mm. They say, what do you call it? The... Apprenticeship scheme. OK. And you think that, uh... Do you think this would really help, Seb? Oh, well, Patrick, it stands to reason. Patrick? Patrick? Yeah. Did Seb tell you to call me that? No, I just thought... Please, call me Pat. OK. Well, it stands to reason, really. A job could be crucial to Seb's successful reintegration after his release. OK, I'm liking the sound of it. Because I'm a bit of a philanthropist myself, and that doesn't mean I collect stamps. <laughs> you would have to go through all the necessary checks. You think me being a serial killer might be a problem? <sighs> I'm jo I am joking. I'm joking. OK, that all sounds... sounds great. Do you have a Oh, of course. There you go. I get my people to call your people. Ms. Nicola Rubenstein, Rubenstein? Stein. Stein. Can I ask you something, Nicola? Of course. 
Um... Hey, Todd. Hmm. I'm not interrupting anything, am I, stepdaddy? Do you know what? I better get my skates on. Oh, my God, it's Jane Tarville. Hey, manners. <laughs> Give us a call, yeah? Yeah, I will. Thanks. Thank you. Please, sir, take care. Pat, does me mum know you're having fit women back to the house? Listen to you, fit women. Come on, then. Who is she? Mm, that's odd. It's the million-dollar question. Oh, I think it's brilliant you put the question in, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's dead feminist. Well, no, actually, I am quite the feminist. I used to love the spice. Oh, oh, girl power. No, I had a pencil case. Nothing says feminism quite like a pencil case, does it? Who's your favourite? Spice wife. I'm gonna go with Jerry because that day when she went from platform trainers into ordinary high heels was so powerful. Mm. <laughs> Iconic. <laughs> Are you all kid? Of course he is, he's getting married. <laughs> She's up already. Oh, <clears throat> oh, not now, love. Yes, now. What did the neurologist say? It's just a bacterial infection, stress related apparently. Right. The antibiotics they've given me should cure the dizziness, so then I'll be right as rain. Oh, thank God for that. Mm. Don't know what I'd do if anything happened to you. <laughs> well, do you know what? What? Well, if you're antibiotics, you won't be wanting that. Oh. Aww. Isn't it lovely that Aidan said yes? No, it is. It's, it's, it's really lovely. <laughs> you sound funny when you talk through great teeth. Oh, shush you. Made up for all. And fingers crossed, it's a, it's a long one. Long what? Engagement. Why? Because it's my wedding this year, not theirs. I want the perfect day. I don't want everybody saying they're saving their best fascinator for Evers. Oh, I won't be saying that, Jenny. Well, exactly. <laughs> but then I don't want my bridesmaids wearing fascinators. Phew, dodged a bullet there. But then again, you see, our day is going to be a classy affair. Eva's proposal and Mary Archibald. Her honeymoon's gonna be margaritas round a sombrero shaped swimming pool getting over yesterday's hangover, common, basically. Did you get proposed to in the factory? Top that up with you, parched. <laughs> hey, dear. Where are you going? I, uh... I promise I won't be long. I've got a quick work email. I need to send, so I need to go home. Mm -hmm. I've got emails on your phone, can't you? Yeah, but I need to send um, over some figures. Um, I've got it all on a document on my laptop. It won't take long. Thank you. <laughs> David? Let me in! The chain's on! Let me in! Everything all right, Gail? Yes. It's fine, thank you, Ken. Thank you. David? You're showing yourself up now. Oh! Oh, fire and water. Here you are, Ken. Uh, <laughs> oh, these fans are absolutely useless, and they charge you five p for a prison. Yeah, hate that. Do you want a bag? No, I plan to carry everything home on my head. Yeah, well, I remember when bags were bags. Yeah. I bet you remember when it was all fields as well, do you? <laughs> yeah. Hey, come on, I'll help you home. No, with it's these. okay, it's okay, I can manage. No, don't be daft. No, honestly, honestly. No, truth be told, I'm avoiding someone. Oh. Oh, well, you really put it like that. Mm. Well, this is a bit weird, isn't it? Oh, hello to you too. You get engaged and the first thing you do is come round here to me. Well, that's exactly why I've come over. Look, this changes nothing between us. I shouldn't have to. You know how I feel. Are you for real? Look, I still want to be with you. Well, then why have you just told her that you'd marry her then? Look, Aidan, you've made your choice, OK? You can get off now. No. I'm going nowhere. Are you not? No. Well, I am. You can do what you want. Oh, it's service with a smile in it tonight. Yeah, well, Mum Lisa's got now on me, kid. Oi, look at him. 
This is an engagement. It's supposed to be about unity, healing, stuff like that. Thank you. Get these down here. Oh, oh. You're going for it tonight, oh. aren't you? Oh, we've got a lot to celebrate. We've got this engagement party. Uh, when were you um, thinking of having the actual thing, Eva? The thing? Um, well, we've not got that far yet. I think 2018's got a really lovely ring to it. Where's my dad, Jenny? Uh, I don't know. Maybe he's gone to the little boys' room. I'm hoping he's gone to find Aidan. Well, has he gone AWOL? Yeah, missing his own engagement party. Brilliant. <laughs> maybe you scared him off. Maybe he's done a runner. <laughs> As is. Mm, maybe he's on an insinuation with a secret mistress. <laughs> Assignation. Actually, he's gone to work. He needed to do some stuff on his laptop. Ah, well. Happen they're both keeping us in work, so let's not knock it, eh? Down in one. <laughs> What's your fake? Oh. Uh. Listen, I meant to ask you something. Does Seb get on with his case manager? Nicola? Yeah. Um, I think so. Why? OK. Does he see a lot of her? Um, yeah. Why are you asking? OK. Well, I'm just talking to her about potentially offering Seb an apprenticeship. Oh, my God, that's amazing. I know. I know I get a bad press, especially in your house. But if helping Seb is going to make you happy, then I've got to do it, haven't I? Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. Okay. Now, listen, I will take you out to see him again, but nobody else needs to know, OK? Hey, hello. You all right? Yeah, fine. What's for tea? Egg and chips. Egg and chips. What are we waiting for? Right. <laughs> uh, thanks, Pat. Oh, you're welcome. What are you talking to her for? Oh, nothing. She just wants us to know about some building wrecks for her homework. Take the chain off the door, please. Now, it's you. Yeah, of course it is. Who do you think it is? Chuck Mum out. What? Why? Oi, Vicar! Over here, you'll want to wear this. Sorry? Do you want to know why that Sean has done a runner? Well, yeah. Yeah, we do, yeah. Is she all right? Well, I'll tell you then, shall I? Oh, David, come on. She's Clayton's mum. You what? Shona is Clayton's mum. No. Yeah, the guy who killed my wife. You're joking. Do I look like I'm joking? No wonder you threw your phone at the mirror. Shona, the woman you want me to take advice from. Nice one. Right, but what's that got to do with Mum? Because she knew. Mum? Yeah, and didn't bother to tell me. That's why I've chucked her out. <sighs> I think I've got a coleslaw coming. I hate coleslaws. Yep. Leave me alone. What are you doing here? Like you've ever eaten a kebab in your life. Have you just come here to be rude to me? It's a compliment. A bit late for them, isn't it? Will you just mind the shop for me? I'm just going to go in the back for a minute. Oh, I could hardly say no when she asked me so publicly. So what are you saying? You want to marry her then, or not? All I know is I don't want this to end. Can you just clarify this? Oh, I love you both. You know that. And, and you said you were more than happy with the situation. Yeah, it was until you agreed to marry her, which means that... No, which means nothing. Which means that you obviously love her more than you love me. You know, there's a word for men like you, Adrian. Torn. Greedy. Somebody want to tell me what's going on? No, 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 it, it was my fault. You make your mind up. Well, I was coming back from the flat and then I saw Maria looking all upset and... Why are you upset? Be because I'm sad that us two aren't speaking. Us three? You're not supposed to be speaking to her. I hate seeing anyone upset. What, is that the sound of a mariachi band I can hear, or the sound of violins? Aidan, come on, we're supposed to be at our own engagement party. A drink later. Chez is coming in and I can get off. So, who or what are you avoiding? Uh, mm, can we pretend I didn't say that? <laughs> of course. I suppose what I'm really avoiding is real life. 
Is that... Was that your missus? Deirdre, yeah. yeah. Sorry I didn't meet her. She looks... great. <laughs> she was. Was there an age gap between you? Yeah, quite considerable, actually. And yet, uh, she went first. Not what I was planning at all. I'm quite a bit older than Jenny. Of course, yes, you're engaged. Yeah. I'm struggling to keep up with her, to be honest. She has all this boundless energy. And she's careering ahead, and I feel like I'm just winding down. I am familiar with that feeling, believe it or not. I mean, the last thing I want is to be a burden. Well, none of us want that, do we? But I imagine, in the end, we're all going to be a burden to somebody. How can we not be? <sighs> I'll best get off. OK, I'll see you out. Ah, thanks for that. And thanks for your help. Nah, pleasure. What was he doing down in the kebab shop? I was just talking to Maria. Oh, just going a bit of kebab, could you? Babes, you're out of your mind. Wedding diet. Oh, and you look fabulous. If you play your cards right. Do you know, I think 2018 will be your year. Do you? Yeah, I do, actually. You know, I'm quite into numbers. Numerology, all that jazz. I'll bear that in mind. I, I know we haven't always seen eye to eye, Aidan, but... One way of putting it, I suppose. I can see how happy you make Eva. Can you? Yeah, of course. I mean, I, I know I can never be your mum. Well, I'm far too young for starters, but I do hope that we can put any acrimony behind us. I like you. I mean, yes, you can be an arrogant so-and-so at times. Pig-headed, sullen. But do you know what? God, you just won't let it drop, will you? Sorry? Today, of all days, can you not just let it go? <laughs> it's dead in here. It's like a bad night in the morgue. Well, I should know it used to work in one. Does it? Well, my mate did. Well, I say mate, it was this guy that I met on a bus once. Mm, well, I say boss. You mean Lippy? <laughs> She's being lippy, Liz. <laughs> She's always lippy, Marie. It's the first thing people say about her. <laughs> See? You can do it. She has had a face like a slapped backside all night, and it ain't pretty. Should uh, you be getting back? You know, your curfew. Oh, no, no, I'm off my tag now, Liz. Oh, it was a relief in it. Oh. oh, yeah, that must be a weight off your ankles. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, are you OK? Gemma's right, you do seem a bit... Oh, no, I'm fine. Really. Well, you want to let your cheeky little chap to know that. Well, do you know what? I'm sick of lying. No, I'm not fine. I've been, um... been seeing this guy and... Well, he's seen someone else. Oh. You're joking. No, and you know what the daft thing is? Like, the really daft thing? Is that he's miserable as sin. Hmm. All he does is lie to her. Well, it must be blind if he's going to choose some other bird over you. Hey, we have all been there and it stinks. Yeah. Well, he has chosen her, so I better get used to it. Well, that's one way of looking at it. And the other way is... War. <laughs> Congratulations. Listen, you don't want to be down on Aidan talking to Maria. What's this got to do with you? Well, he's family, isn't he? And so is she. Well, all right. Well, when we get married, you and Leanne will be family, kind of. So why don't you two sort your differences out, eh? Now you know that's different. She slept with my husband. Look, I know you're not the greatest believer in marriage, no, but... it's not that. It's just... <sighs> Look, all I'm saying is... 
Make up with Maria, eh? For everyone's sake. Good friends are hard to find, you know. Well, she's got any sense, she'll make me the matron of honour. Stop it. Or me the matron of dishonour. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not having this wedding being camp. Uh, hello, have you seen who you're marrying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Horrible to me. Me? Horrible? What's the pot calling the kettle? Well, I've hardly seen you all day. What's got into you? Oh, leave me alone, Jenny. Well, I will not leave you alone. I'm your fiance. Don't. Do what? I'm really sorry. I'm going to have to call it a day. What do you mean? What I'm saying. It's over. I was being nice to it, and I wasn't having a go at him. No, I'll, I'll apologise if you want to. I mean, not there's anything to apologise for. It's not that. It's what? Everything. I've been having doubts for a while. And, and this isn't a wind-up? Sorry. You're never going to believe this, but Shona is your wife. Todd? No, it's Clayton's mum. Clayton's mum? Seriously? Yeah, I'm not messing. David just told me and your mum before. Didn't I say? From day one, that girl is bad news. He hey, just because her sons are wrong, it doesn't mean she is too. Oh, come on, Billy. He's got it from somewhere. Anyway, she's a freak. That means, right, she's hung round here knowing full well who David was. It's like she stalked him into submission. Everyone deserves a second chance. Oh, you're all heart, you. Come here. Hey, hey, hey. Children present. See her over there. All you ever do to her is lie. But what you've got with me is honesty. And no, I'm not happy anymore being with a woman. In fact, I. Oh my God, Maria, this is so weird. I've not come here for a fight. Good, because you're not going to get one. I'm. Uh, I'm going to be the bigger person here and say that I think we should bury the hatchet. Now you've changed the tune. The whole reason that we fell out in the first place is because we were such good mates. And I reckon, with me, yeah, you get one strike, then you're out. <laughs> to watch this semi-final morning. I missed you. I missed you being my bezzy. And <laughs> you are going to be so excited by this. What? <laughs> I insist that you're my bridesmaid. What do you say? Oh, come on, please say yes. 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 <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, literally chuffed to bits for myself. No, don't go looking better than me, though, yeah? What do you think of Diana? As well you know, she's very hard to say no to. So you have gone for a fight? Adrian, I'm sick of playing second fiddle to her. Always making do with a fuzzy end of the lolly stick, but I know, I know that I can make you happy. And I do make you happy. Do you love me? I know I do. Right, well then, it's time to make a choice. Who's it gonna be, me or her? Next, after 14 years of jail time, proving a man's innocence isn't going to be easy for Helen McCrory, reading between the lies in our brand new drama series, Fearless. but Pat thought I may as well just drive there. And now you'll smash it. Please don't say smash it. Oh, shut up. Right, then. Mirror. <laughs> Signal. Mm-hmm. Maneuver. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> 
Bye, Bethany. Not seen you in a while. No. It's good to have you home. Yeah. Thanks. I'm just uh, loving the whole natural look, by the way. Oh, shut up, I look terrible. No, 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 no. The whole uh, just rolled out of bed, no makeup look is bang on trend at the moment. Just ask Billy. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, look, if you want to, I don't know, chat or anything, I'm just over the road. Yeah, I'd like that. Right, come here. Oh. See you later. All right. What are you looking at me all weird for? Oh, I'm just thinking about you meeting Summer later. What a great dad you'd make. Hi. Hiya. Uh, look, look, look. I'm really glad that I bumped into you. Um, would you meet me in the pub at lunchtime? It's just, with everything that's happened, I'd, I'd like a chance to talk to you about it. Aren't you better off speaking to your family? Apart from my dad, nobody's speaking to me. Can you blame him? Nobody understands me the way that you do. I've got to go. Sorry. Please. It's just a drink in the Rovers. I thought we could go to a museum or something. Don't let me compete with the dinosaur skeleton. Hello? Speaking? Uh, just, just hold on one sec. All right, cheers. Billy, that's the, um, temp agency. Someone's called in sit for a job and they're asking if I want it. But we're meeting somewhere. Well, you guys meet me after finish, yeah? I, I don't know what Drew's plans are after. Oh, Billy, don't give me them puppy dog eyes. <sighs> you said you were taking this seriously. How can we even consider adopting someone if you haven't even met her? Yeah, but it's not now or never, is it? <sighs> No, I suppose it's too good to turn down. OK. Yeah, I'll tell you what, just, um, if you text me the address, I'll be there in 40 minutes. Yeah. All right, cheers. Thank you. Mm. Love ya. Not eating. Ramadan. Oh, I can't wait till sundown. I'm a growing girl. Who'd have thought selling food at a car pizza could make so much cash? Oh, I couldn't stick it, me. It's giving on a food wagon. Oh, too much like hard work? No. Coming home every night, stinking of chip fat and vinegar. Hey, is that a dig at Chesney? Of course not. I never noticed with him. He's meticulous, hygiene-wise. It's nice to hear you sticking up for him. Right, I better get back. See you later. See, See ya. ya. Mm, she's so full of herself. Oi, she's a crafty. you got to give her that. Mm. Mild-manneredness by dear. Dynamic curry syllabi, no? <laughs> like a boring version of Batman. Hey, have you told Alia and Kate they've got to move out? Well, we've not exchanged, have we? Well, no, but you have to give them a month's notice. Well, don't you think Kate's been through enough, you know, with her dad and Jenny? And... Oh, that'll soon blow over. Closing. Business not great, what a pity. It's lunchtime. It's only just gone 12. Yeah, well, I breakfast early. Tracy's taking me to lunch. I'm employee of the month. <laughs> Aren't you her only employee? Yeah, exactly. That's why she won it. By a landslide. Are you coming or what? <laughs> Hi, Sinead. Do you want me to have a word with you? No, no, it's all right. I'm, I'm just going to nip to the loo. I don't know why it's still sniffing around our Sinead. Any glasses? You just cleared them. Oh, yeah. Will there be anything else? Um, I don't know. He's always had a thing for me, Steve. I hope you don't think he's in with a chance now that Michelle's dumped him. I mean, they even plays for him. Oh, no, I know. Yes, lads. What are we having? Just a sparkling water for me. I'm working later. Well, I'm driving. Well, I'm operating heavy machinery. Oh, guys, we might as well have gone to Roy's. Oh, you? Uh, wife? Sitting here? Uh, you can't abandon his mates for his missus. Says who? Uh, packet of dry roasted, please. 
Oh, uh, right. Uh, Steve would like a word with you, actually, and uh, Alia. All right. Jenny A, the mad cow. <laughs> OK, the thing is, we are selling this place. So we need the cab office flat back. Months notice, OK? I guess it's going to have to be. I told you I'd sort it. I don't suppose your dad's looking for a couple of lodges, is he? Nah. He's got a lot on at the moment. Did he seem all right with you this morning? Well, he's not been in again. Really? Um, I couldn't help overhearing just now, but I might be able to help. Um, I'll be back in a minute. I'm just going to go check on my dad. Hey, our favourite, right? Oh, Daniel, please. I just want to talk. Just leave me alone, will you? Oi, you heard her. I just want to tell the whole pub what kind of man you really are. No worries. Dad? Oh, my God. Looks worse than these. <sighs> so is the food as good as the service here? Not served yet. It might be hopeless. I'd really mind if you are. Any idiot can schlep plates to a table. Not everyone's got charm and good looks. Mm. Does this rubbish ever work with women? Nope. <laughs> Bring us a decent bottle of champagne and we'll have a look at this menu. OK, any particular one? I'll leave that to you. You look like you've got excellent taste, which means you haven't got a hope. <laughs> uh, where have you been? Uh, dentist. Right, well, get changed and get cracking. I'm on my own here. Yeah, I'll table two. Oh, look at us, having a power lunch. I feel like... Joan Collins and Linda Evans out of Dynasty. I used to love that show as a child, the glamour. Yeah, well, cool your jets, Alexis. I mean, it's a soup and a sandwich in a backstreet bistro. Table for two? Oh, you work that out without having to use your fingers. Take it to the table. I don't believe this, Robert. <laughs> Rich? Blimey. <laughs> you work here? Uh, yeah, yeah, just, uh, is this your shift, yeah? Oh, of all the bars in all the world, eh? <laughs> Tell me about it. Listen, if you fancy a little live now, I'm fully loaded. Ooh, ooh. Keep it down, uh, Boss is that I've had it. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Well, let us know if you want to join us for a little, um, dessert. Be like the good old days. Hmm? I assume that a little live now means drugs. You didn't hear any of that. Got it? Uh, yeah. I mean it. One word and you're out on your head. Oh, uh, he's just a um, snow clubbing mate from back in the day. Oh, yeah, a bit of an old raver, are you, eh? I just see you now standing on a podium at the Hacienda, top off, blowing your whistle. Very well, we'll have to see what I don't think she's just playing for the sign. Yeah, I've always been a very effective saleswoman. As a child, I once literally sold sand to an Arab. Uh, it's a long story. Aren't they all? Well, aren't you going to ask me any questions? What's Cavallo Nero? No, about the business, about me being employee of the month. <laughs> oh, uh, right. How do you see yourself in five years from now? Sort of cabbage. Eh? Cavallo Nero, it's a sort of cabbage, oh. I think. Ladies? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, hello, Daniel. And don't you look lovely in your your lovely smart pinny? Uh, <laughs> uh, what's um, Cavallonero? That's an Italian boy band, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> you are a caution. <laughs> uh, actually, it's a sort of cabbage thing. You see, uh, and how do you pronounce it? Cavolo Nero. Oh, I, I do love a foreign tongue. Ooh. You seem to be having fun, Daniel, with them too. Only Dad said that you were in a low mood. I'm fine. And anyway, it's not very professional, is it, to take your mood out on your customers? What do you recommend? Oh, the veal. It's great. Oh, no. No, no, no. I, I, I could never eat veal. The way they're treated, hidden away, all tortured and pale. Yeah, well, it doesn't seem to have done him any harm. Oh, I, I do beg pardon. <laughs> I think I need the little girl's room. It's, it's the wine. It, it goes right through me. Yeah, oh. four glasses will do that. Can we at least be civil? Civil? Daniel, you try to kill Dad and you expect me to be civil. I know I've got problems. Oh, yeah, you have sunshine and one of them is me. Everything all right over here? I think Daniel needs to be getting back to his little pals over there. The way he was behaving, it was like he was trying to arrange a threesome, not take their order. Look, I have asked for the specials three times now, and he just stands there with his mouth open. Well, you know, he we went to the dentist this morning. Maybe the uh, anaesthetic hasn't quite worn off. What dentist? Actually, I think he needs a therapist. Try and sort out his crazy. Why don't you just keep your opinions to yourself, you vile cow? Ooh, well, that's your tip cut in half. Daniel. Look, I'm sorry, but she can't come in here anymore. She's a customer. Mm, we have to put up with her, so do you. <laughs> She's an evil bitch. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Go on. What? Home, Daniel. Now. I reckon Chesney needs a night out. Brilliant! <laughs> Very proud of you, love. Come on, let's get the kettle on. Oh, I still can't believe it. Well done. <laughs> What's all that about? No idea. So me and your mum thought we could take him up the northern quarter. There's a bar up there you can play ping pong. <laughs> I love saying that word, ping pong. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. I'll touch by later, yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ping pong. <laughs> Boss. You're really? I thought you said half two. Uh, do you care visit to Bethany? Oh, well, I could come. She could use a friendly face. You really should go to Rainy and get it checked out. I'll sit in a plastic chair for four hours, thumbing through old copies of Auto Trader, no time. Have you um, any idea what caused the fall? I mean, did you feel dizzy or. He's got MS. Kate! I'm sorry to hear that, Johnny. Um, when I've got a second, I'll come and check on you later. But then you need to make an appointment with the GP. Thanks, Rana. Right. I'll make that appointment then. I've already got an appointment with my specialist. When? About six weeks. Six weeks? What about your head? Oh, will you just leave me be? Let me deal with this in my own way. I can't do this alone anymore, Dad. I'm sorry. Where are you going? To tell Aidan. No! He's my brother. You might be happy lying to him about something as big as this, but I'm not. Kate! And you don't mind living with two girls? No, as long as you pay the rent, it doesn't bother me. Maybe straight away, if you like. I think it's a smashing idea. Why? Huh? I mean, why do you think it's a smashing idea? Well, you know, uh, all three of you, uh, so different, it'd be like a sitcom, wouldn't it? <laughs> why? Because it's uh, two girls and a bloke. Well... Or because Kate's gay. No. Steve, when you're in a hole, stop digging. Or is it because we're all different colours? <gasps> because, you know, we're looking to live somewhere, not shoot a Benetton advert. Another pint, please. And a large vodka. Both for you. I'm over 18, you know. I think I know that. So you're gonna get me the drinks and I won't. Hey, is everything all right? Everything would be fine if you just did your job and got me what I asked for. Hi, sunshine. Mind your neck in. How much has he had? 
pint and a half. Is that all? What is this? An intervention? It's a pub, and I want a drink. I think I should call Ken. Mm -hmm. All right, fine. If you're not going to serve me, then I'll just go and find someone who will. A pint and a half? Oh, you wouldn't know Peter's brother, would you? I, uh, wanted to confirm a few things in your statement. Has um, Sharon been in touch, by the way? Apparently she's gone missing. I am sick of everybody banging on about Shona all the time. She is not missing, she's done one because everybody's found out who she really is. Craig, you're not helping. Eh? Huh? You're here to observe, not to interrogate Bethany. You're clearly upsetting her. Can you wait outside, please? Sorry. talk about anyone, right? Not Shona, not Nathan. Does anyone suspect you might be going? No. Nathan will be in contact in the morning. How is he? I hate not being able to speak to him. My mum's watching me like a hawk. Just keep your head down and wait for him to contact you. I will. Good. Where are we going? He'll explain everything. Because the Church of England doesn't know what to do with it, does it? Uh, it's, um, it's complicated. It's your life, not a Facebook status. <laughs> and stop being so nosy, you. You're always telling me to be curious about the world around me, so I'm just being curious. Yeah, well, how about being curious about the Cold War? You've got that essay due in tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. This is my favourite calf. Now, they do the best cakes in the whole of the Northwest and the milkshakes. They are to die for. All right, Billy Wonka, rein it in. I've been to a cafe before. <laughs> Go and get a table for three, then, smarty pants. Yeah, watch the road. Go on, off you pop. <sighs> I can't believe how bright she is. Don't know where she gets it from. No, come on. You're always the bookworm, the politics buff. The amount of times I tried to drag you down to Canal Street and you couldn't tear yourself away from news night. When I'm gone, Billy, she'll need someone like you. Excuse me. Don't tell me he's forgot to pay his bill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no. Robert sent me after you. He's changed his mind about getting some stuff. Stuff? Get you, Scarface. Two grand to buy it himself these days, is there? Mm hmm. Got the money? Uh, he said they'd sell it later. All right, no problem. I can catch up with him later. And give us a chance to talk about old times. Thank you. What's that you're making? It's called karukurai. Oh, Japanese, as in origami. Yeah, and it has moving parts. Oh, it's like them, um, them fortune teller things we used to make at school. Yeah, only not as childish. Oh. May I be excused? You may. Lovely manners. It's like having tea with the queen. You don't have to be posh to be polite. <laughs> exactly what I tell my grandchildren. <laughs> she is amazing. It's only beans on toast. Oh, no, funny. You seem really happy here. Settled. Mm. Yeah, I've made a lot of friends. And Todd's, you know, he's, he's been around here for donkeys on and off. It's, um, it's a proper little community. There's not many of them left. Yeah, more's the pity. She'd be happy here too, Billy. I know it's a huge decision and Todd hasn't even met her yet, but I haven't got long. I need you to do this for me, Billy. Of course we'll take her. Are you sure? What about Todd? No, Todd will fall in love with her just like I have. We'd be made up to have her. I don't know how much this means to me. <sighs> Please, Kate, don't tell Aiden if you haven't already. Uh...
Call me back, please. Don't tell your brother. I'm begging you. Oh, hi, Johnny. Uh, listen, love, I need you to do me a favour. Kate's gone to the factory to tell Aidan. I really don't want him to know. Johnny... Uh... Uh, I'm not feeling great, besides which she won't listen to me. Johnny, I don't think it's my place to... It's Rana. You're the only other person who knows. It should be my decision when to tell him, not Kate. Fancy a big night. You don't have to get blooded. Someone's having a good time. We're back in Coronation Street in half an hour. Thanks to soon. What, uh, what can I do for you? I've come to collect. S Sorry, you lost me. What you owe me? For what? For the stuff I handed over earlier. It's good to see you back on the gear, by the way. <laughs> but I, I didn't take anything from you. No, but your little sidekick did. That lad, the one who was working here before. Told me you were getting it for you. Right, um, not true. What did you sell him? You never had a client confidentiality. Oh, well, I'm not paying unless you tell me. Coke and GHB. Speak of the devil. Can I have a word in private? Uh, actually, I was first in the queue, thank you very much. This fabric is from batch number 35, and it's faulty, definitely. It looks fine to me. Felix, dog rough. I felt smooth as sandpaper. Stop exaggerating. Feel it. Look, we can uh, sort this next week. Fine. Don't come crying to me when it rips someone's backside to shreds. Look, Aiden. I know this might come as a bit of a shock, but I'm telling you because I think you have a right to know. It was just that Sorry, I... just um, need a quick word with Kate. Oh, something happened. Your dad begged me to stop you maiden. You need to listen to him. We're his family. We're the ones that are going to have to deal with all this. Well, it's going to take time for him to come to terms with the diagnosis. He'll break the news himself when he's good and ready. What are you two whispering about? Oh, nothing. You have something to tell me? Uh, yeah, I've got to move out my flat. That's it. Oh, she's going to come and live with you and Eva, but luckily our room came up at leaks. Hannah Gova. You seem a little bit underwhelmed. No, I'm delighted, of course I am. It's just that you sort of blurted it out. What? Like it wasn't planned. As if you'd suddenly made a decision and, and sort of... Blurted. Exactly. What made you decide for sure? She's a great kid. She's going to need me, and I couldn't live with myself if I walked away from her. Are you absolutely sure? She's not a puppy, you know. You can't take her back if she chews your slippers or... Is she likely to chew my slippers? All right, it was a rubbish analogy, but you know what I mean. She is for life. That's one hell of a commitment. I'm not taking this lightly, Drew. I know she's got a long and difficult path ahead of her. She's she's losing you. She's getting used to a new life. I promise you, we'll be with her every step of the way. What about Todd? You haven't much to say about him. What have I missed? Nothing. Everything's cool, as. 
A family dinner? What for? I don't know. Bethany just said that she wants us all to get together. Oh. Why do you have to make such a big deal out of everything? What's she trying to do? Convince herself for the Waltons? It's a bit late for that, isn't it? Right, all you have to do, turn up, shovel some food in your big god, behave yourself. It's not too much to ask, is it? We've all got to keep an eye on her. That means you two. It's a pity we can't just chin at it radiator, keep her out of trouble. <sighs> Believe me, I would if I could. I'm sorry for the dramatics. But I had to stop you telling Aiden. Sorry for the dramatics? Yeah, you love it! <laughs> <laughs> well, point is, if you make your dad's decisions for him, you're making him feel powerless. I'm glad you're letting him do this on his own. Right, I better get off. Thought I'd have Ali and Eva stuff into the flat. <laughs> See you. You're giving that buzzer some jib. <laughs> is there a problem? No. Well, I mean, Daniel's definitely at home. I, I saw him slope in earlier. Right. Between you and me, I, I, I thought he looked a bit shifty. Wouldn't worry, he's just got that sort of face. Hey, Adam! You still got the key for this place? What do you want to know? Have you got one or do I have to kick this door down? Oh, look, if you're going to do any kicking, start with your dominant foot. I, I, I'll, I'll take your jacket if you like. Do you mind? So. I'm gonna get off in a minute. Well, oh, never be fuming if he saw how many of them kebabs you stuffed down your neck. I don't like my stomach, I'm out later. Mm. It's get wet now, down at the lagoon. Well, I'm stopping in. No way. It's a horror. I thought you'd be giving it some does for. Yeah, I'm gonna make Sinead a favourite tea. Fish finger butties, andouille white bread, a little bit of mayonnaise to dip in. Very posh. Mm. I'll stick our favourite film on, Marley and me. Cannibal Holocaust. My number one. Isn't that all blood and guts and stuff? Yeah! I've never laughed so much in my life. So, uh, you and Sinead, then? You back on? Well, no, not really. But I'm pretty sure it's only a matter of time. Really? You reckon? Yeah, I think I'm kind of winning around. Daniel was getting a bit leery, so I waded in. Told him to do one. No way, macho man. Yeah, she was well impressed. Glad to see the back of him. Only got eyes for me now. I hope. My cakes have gone all wonky. Jamie Oliver makes it look so easy. Bish bash bosh. Right. There's the icing. There you go. And go mad with the decorations. So it's not like you to spend so much time in the kitchen. What's this in aid of? Well, I just wanted to treat you all. Since when? Since I wanted to say thank you for supporting me. Well, that's what we're here for. Don't you forget it. Well, Gran's told me she can't come. She's otherwise engaged. Yeah, I know. My Gran can, though. She's bad. Oh, come on, David. Let's at least try to get back to some sort of normality. Sorry, my house, my rules. Well, thank you very much for making an effort. I really appreciate it. Don't worry, there'll be other times. OK, you get the door in the back, yeah? Yeah, yeah. All right. Easy does it. What's up with him? Is he drunk? Looks that way. He's a lightweight. Never could handle his beer. Look at the state of him. I bet I'll have to have his stomach pumped. Do you try and look a bit less smug? Right, Adam, you drive. I'll stay in there. Maria, call me back as soon as you can. It's urgent. You know, they do say love is more addictive than drugs. Here we go. You, you may not realise this, but what you're experiencing now is cold turkey. Drink your drink, girl. Drown your sorrow. So Dr Rita recommends exchanging one drug for another one. And that's enough from you. Thank you very much. You'd be better off lying down in a darkened room with a wet flannel on your forehead. I'm dreading work. Maybe I should look for something else. 
Don't you dare. You go in there with your lippy on, lady, and your head held high. Or else, stick your tab out on. Now get reacquainted with your mop and bucket. <laughs> you can't demote her just because she's no longer the boss's consort. Fiance. Yeah, fiance. Mm. Come on. Tell me why you dumped you. You've been up to your usual snide tricks. I've done nothing wrong. Whatever you say, I still love Johnny. <sighs> love his wallet, you mean? Oh, that is a most insensitive remark to make under the circumstances. But out, Norris. This has got nothing to do with you. Don't you uh, Now, to steady on, gents. Don't make me come over there and manhandle you both into submission. <sighs> I can take you both out without breaking a sweat. Yeah. <sighs> Not brought the cavalry. I can't stay long. I'm on a break. Thought you'd be back all guns blazing. You and Aiden sorting my life out for me. I'm sorry, Dad. Rana made me realise that it's not up to me to tell him. <sighs> I'll get round to it in my own time. I just want to get my life back to normal for a bit. Does that mean you might get back with Jenny? I've already told you I'm protecting her, sparing her the heartache. Hypocrite. You don't want me to tell Aidan about your diagnosis because it should be your decision. But you're doing exactly the same thing to Jenny. You're not giving her a chance to make her own mind up. And you could be robbing Jenny and yourself years of happiness together. Sort it out, Dad. Put it right before it's too late, yeah? Tell you. Can get some help, please? He's taking an overdose. Straight over there, please. Bay three. What's his name? Daniel Osborne. How long has he been unconscious? An hour or so. Do you know what he's taken? Uh, yeah, GHB and cocaine. Do you know how much? No, sorry. Okay, can you wait outside now, please? Look, as soon as there's any news, I'll come and find you. What happened back then? What? He just kind of froze. Explain yourself. How do you know he's taking something? Just a suspicion. Based on what? Has he done this kind of thing before? Not as far as I know. There could have been anything in that rap. How do you know it's cook? <sighs> Let's just call it an educated guess and move on, yeah? Listen, Robert, I understand you wouldn't want any of this to get out of Like I said, the same for you. I don't see you wishing to phone your family. Yeah, I know my granddaddy probably blame me. Right. This is all about you, isn't it? Him and Daniel are just getting back on track. This would only screw things up again. Is that right? Listen, I don't know what part you played in all this. And I don't really want to know. But I'm telling you this, if he dies in there, it's on you. I promise I'll come after you and I'll make you pay for what you've done. So you better pray that he wakes up. Oh! Yeah, I think it'll be fine. Better once we've feng shuied it. Yeah. The energy's got to flow properly. Have to shift that door. Mm, that ceiling's definitely going to need to be lowered. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you must think I'm thick as a plank. We'll have to try harder. <laughs> Hiya! It's only me. Hi. Happy evening. Oh, thank you. Oh. oh. Didn't I get you that last Christmas? Oh, smells like the inside of me granny's handbag. Oh, thanks, Luke. Right. Do you want to help me get the rest of my stuff? You've got more stuff? Loads. <sighs> After you. <laughs> so, um, how did you get on? Did you talk to your dad? Yeah. Told him I'd do things his way. I hope you're not annoyed with me for sticking my nose in. Couldn't help yourself, could you? I'll let you off this time. <laughs> oh, thanks. You're all hot. <laughs> <clears throat> Do you see that? I think his leg just moved. Daniel, quick call the nurse. <laughs> We've been breaking it because of you. What the hell were you thinking? You weren't trying to. The rock and roll lifestyle's not for you, mate. If you want to relax, take a nice cup of cocoa. Yeah, I was supposed to be speaking to me. There's my dad here as well. Now we thought it best not to tell anyone.
Oh, yeah, you turn up. Shake, it's all show. Mm. This is right. Mm. I got munchies now. Yeah, me too. Shall I make a pile of chips? Oh, <gasps> yeah. I can always see you right for hot pots. Other than that, you'll just have to get yourself a kebab. I've never had a kebab in my life. Well, there you go, Rita. There's a yeah. first time for everything. Come oh, on. Don't come to me when you've got E. coli. No, no, no. Who's E. coli? <laughs> Who's he talking about? <laughs> Hey, how'd it go with Drew? Listen, Todd, I've got something really important to tell you. Please don't go mad. Go on. I promise I didn't plan it, but I've told him we'll take summer. Oh, hurry up, we're starving. We're gonna pass out in a minute. All right. Max has already eaten the table leg, haven't you? It was nice with the square ketchup. Bethany, what are you doing tomorrow? Uh, uh, why do you ask? Because there is a costume exhibition on in town. Do you fancy it? Uh, I don't know. It says fashion through the ages, from Tudors to the swinging 60s. Sounds like hell. Shall I book it? Uh, yeah, go on then, why not? Brilliant. Look, I am really sorry, you know. For what? Everything. Oh, darling, you're gonna have to stop looking at the past. You're back home now and you're with your family and that's all that matters. Good to see you in here, Rita. I told you I would tempt you over to the dark side. What exactly is it? It's kebab, innit? Stick some chilli sauce on it, kill the taste. No, I mean... What, what is the meat? It's Donna. Donna? I've never heard of an animal called Donna. But I think it's foreign for lamb. Ooh. Johnny, what do you want? Leave her alone. She's had a better offer. Well, now you told me to go, so I've gone. He wants me to go around the flat. No way! Don't be doing no booty calls. Have some self-respect, says the woman who did it on top of a bus shelter. He sounded really sorry. Don't you go running back. He's not worth it. I still love him, though. Oh. Egg. It's been ages in that shower. I know, it takes a while to get all that grease out of my hair. Mm. Oh, you made me fish finger sandwiches. I was going to do that. It's no biggie, Chad, so I'm making some for myself anyway. Mm. Shall we stick a film on? Great minds think alike. Mm. We could watch Marley and Me or Marley and Me, The Puppy Years. I know I've seen it like a million times, but... No, they are great. I never get bored of watching Owen Wilson, his wonky nose. Mm. He looks like he's been hit in the face with a shovel. <laughs> he could have had plastic surgery and had one of them daft, dinky little noses plonked on, but he didn't, did he? He's keeping it real. Right. The puppy years it is. I were hoping you were going to say that. <laughs> I mean, how many times have we talked about this? Hmm? We were going to wait. We were going to make a decision together once I'd got to know her. I just couldn't bear it. The thought of her all alone in the world, she's just a kid. Yeah, kid I've never even met. But listen, she's not. She's not going to be all on her own, OK? Drew is going to find somebody else. He can't just hang around while you make your mind up. Look, Summer's world is about to be torn apart. We can't just walk away and leave her to it. You know what I still quite can't believe is that you've made my mind up for me. Somewhat massive like this. I know you think I'm being selfish. Maybe I am. But this is going to put a lot of pressure on us, yeah? What if it drives us apart? We won't let it. You know, she's going to be grieving, yeah? She's, she's going to have been through the worst experience of her life. Which is why she needs us together, both of us. No, she doesn't. She needs an expert, Billy. Somebody who knows what they're doing. We'll learn as we go along, like everyone does. Todd, we would love her. That's all that matters. Why would I love her? She's nothing to me. When you meet her, you're going to fall for her, just like I have. I know you will. What if I don't? What then, hmm? Tell me. I've told Drew we'll, we'll take her. 
There's no way I'm going back on that. It's too cruel. Yes, yeah, so what you're saying is you've already chosen her over me. Just please, just meet her. Spend some time with her and you'll see. Well, it's not like I've got much of a choice, is it? You've made a decision that's going to affect my whole life and I didn't even have a say. I need to get out of here. The sooner the better. Wouldn't advise it. All right. Well, then I'll discharge myself. Then if anything happens, it's on me, not you. Well, someone will need to stay with you overnight. I can do that. Thank you. Just for one night. But no, is not really my thing. Someone from the Drug and Alcohol Liaison Team will talk to you before you go. No, I told you I don't need any of that. It's just a one-off. You got off lightly this time. I don't want to see you back here again. Right, get me out of here now. When you're home, you're gonna get help. Listen to you talking like that. As though you cared. You put the fear of God into me today. One way or another, you need to get your head straightened up. Uh, Jenny, thanks for coming. You're welcome. Uh, <clears throat> I was wanting to chat with you in private. Well, we're a posse and we're going nowhere. Yeah, so anything you've got to say, you've got to say it in front of us. Mm-hmm. Mm. What have you done to your head? Uh, drunk. I've been a total idiot. Too right. <laughs> well, you'll get no argument from us. Go on. Ending things with you was the biggest mistake of my life. Please take me back. Oh, don't dare him soft soap, you. Yeah. This ring belongs on your finger. Please marry me. Put it back on. You said you'd fallen out of love with me, so what happened? You just fell back in? I never stopped loving you. Then why did you hurt me like that? I... Hmm? I can't explain. Who wants to say you won't dump me again? No, I can't risk it. Why would I do that to myself? <laughs> yes! Who run the world? Girls, I girls, love you, Jenny. Girls, Please let girls, me make it up to you. Wait, we can't leave girls, it like this. Please just girls. listen to me. No, you have said enough. You want me out? I'm out. But if you've been affected by the issues raised in tonight's episode, visit itv.com slash advice for more information. In a moment with a sharp lawyer on their backs, a case is not going according to plan for Riggs and Murtaugh. In hit US drama, Lethal Weapon, next. <laughs> 